This video will show how you can connect a business intelligence or BI tool with the Advanced Planning and Scheduling System, APS. As I signed into the APS, I chose to look at my job screen, which is a list of all my production orders with relevant information that I'd like to see right here in my grid. I can look across and see for a production order, the scheduled start and end dates, which have been optimized and generated by the Advanced Planning and Scheduling System to meet my delivery dates. I can also choose what columns I want to see and the order that I'd like to see them here as well. So I can gather together information about the products and customers I'm making, even down to looking at financial information such as the total cost and throughput that I'm generating. I can perform a lot of basic analysis right here in the APS itself. The grids perform much like a spreadsheet type of a view where each column can be filtered and sorted. For example, right now I'm sorting on my product description ascending. If I click it one more time, it'll sort that column descending and once again changes it back to sorting ascending. Likewise, any column in my grid can be filtered using the funnel icon. So if I were looking for a particular customer's set of orders, I can click that funnel icon for that column, choose the customer or customers I'm interested in, and the grid changes to show that information. So it's pretty easy so far to get at the details that I need to make good decisions. I can also go ahead and summarize information as well. Here I'm using in my total cost column, I've got a value that shows the sum of those costs at the bottom of those rows. And I can choose other calculations as well. Finally, I may also choose, as I turn off my filters here, to look at information in groups. I can go ahead and click and drag any column to group and sort by that particular element. So I'm going to take my product column here, drag it over to my group area, and now I can go ahead and drill into, if I so choose, information that's relevant to me. So if I wanted to look at the three orders for product number one, I can pop those open and see those in this type of a fashion as well. So it's pretty easy to get at the details and also at the summary information that I need to make good decisions within the APS, and grids are a great way to do that. We've extended that capability to open up the data that's driving our scheduling system to other reporting engines. And the APS has always had the ability to work with reporting systems such as Microsoft Reporting Services, Crystal Reports, and Excel, and so forth. And you can see that there are a number of standard reports that are included as well. What I'm going to show you today is taking it to a little bit of a different level using what's called a business intelligence or BI tool to further analyze the data that's in the APS. In this case, I've created a little order dashboard using a BI tool from Microsoft that's called Power Pivot. And Power Pivot works directly in Excel, so it's pretty easy to use, especially if you're familiar with working with a spreadsheet. Nice thing about Power Pivot is it gives me control over how I want to slice the data. And that just means applying different filters so that I can either graph or find and sort the information that I'm looking for. So right now I've got a couple filters applied where I'm just looking at orders for a couple of different items. And you can see that the graph is generating and I've chosen to show just three pieces of information. If uh, an order is late, that will show in blue. I'll also be able to look at the total cost of that order in red, as well as the throughput I'll generate in green for those particular orders. And just like you can uh, slice and dice the information in the APS, nice thing about Power Pivot and other BI tools is it lets you control your visualization and how you drill into that information as well. So I'll turn off my product filters just as an example, and as that goes out and queries my SQL database, I may choose to apply different filters, such as only looking at orders for a particular customer. This is a great way to visually see that I do have one particular production order that's going to be quite late and uh, I want to go ahead and do something about that. This is really the same information that I can see inside the advanced planning and scheduling system, but sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words and that's where using a BI tool that you may have in-house doesn't have to be Power Pivot, for example. Using your own reporting and business intelligence tools can be a great way to get your arms around the value that you're driving by making good decisions using your advanced planning and scheduling system. So we'd like to talk with you about those types of results that you're interested in getting, how we can work with you to drive great results using an advanced planning and scheduling system. So feel free to give us a call or contact us on our website. We're looking forward to talking with you.